Cosplayers will often seal their foam with two different materials. One of them is a spray rubber called Plasti Dip, which we will talk about in another video. But the other option that most cosplayers use is something called Mod Podge. And Mod Podge is usually the cheaper alternative versus Plasti Dip for sealing your foam. You can get, you can get a lot of use out of a single 8 ounce bottle such as this and coming in at five to six dollars per container it don't really break the bank so it's it's a cheaper alternative for those cosplayers like myself who are on a budget. Mod Podge is simply a name brand for a permanent white glue that has been diluted and since you're paying five to six dollars per container you're technically paying for the product name which is Mod Podge. Well we're going to save you some money today and show you how to make your own with just a little bit of white permanent glue, some water, and a couple containers. When you're making cosplay things and foam props, you're eventually going to run out of material. I recently run out of Mod Podge. I've had this container for a while. I've uh, used some alternatives to Mod Podge, testing out different ones, and I've liked how they've all turned out. So you can go and pick this up at a Hobby Lobby, stores like that, even Amazon, for about 5 to $6 per container. This is an 8 ounce container. Uh, not very cost effective when you have alternatives. So in this episode we're going to talk about a Mod Podge alternative that will probably be about 10 to 15 percent of the cost of actually buying this. So first of all let's talk about what Mod Podge is. Mod Podge is a brand. It's not necessarily a product, it's a brand that makes a product that is called Mod Podge and Mod Podge is basically a permanent white glue that has been diluted. If you look around the internet, you'll find several websites that talk about what the chemical makeup is in, uh, or the ingredient makeup is in Mod Podge, and they all say it's a white permanent glue that has been diluted. Now, what is a white permanent glue? Well, here's one. Elmer's Glue All. This is a white permanent glue. Not to be confused with regular school glue. School glue is not a permanent white glue. That's a washable. You don't want any, anything that's washable or anything like that. Another kind is called PVA glue. And PVA glue is used in the construction industry for many things. Um, as a sealant, as an actual glue for like wood, things like that. Uh, so you could also buy that on Amazon and uh, make your own Mod Podge. The other one is wood glue. I've been using lots of different kinds of wood glues. Um, I've even tried this regular white glue, which has worked okay. It says it's suitable for paper, uh, wood, fabric. It's safe for children. It is washable, so I don't really recommend it, but I wanted to try it out. It's held up okay, but since it's washable, it will probably not hold up quite as good as a permanent white glue. So we're just going to set this aside. Now if you use this at full strength it might be a little bit better. But in this tutorial we're going to talk about how to make an alternative to Mod Podge. So Mod Podge five to six dollars a bottle. This container cost me thirteen dollars on Amazon. That's equivalent to three containers of this. This is eight ounces. Now what we know is that there are 128 ounces in a gallon. So for for if you were to break the numbers down, the price of three of these for the price of this will actually get you 16 bottles if you use this straight. If you were to fill this up 16 times, that's how much is in here. So what we're going to do is create this and the sorry for the noise in the background. It's hot today. I've got the garage door open. We're going to make a Mod Podge, which is basically Elmer's glue wall and some water. I happen to have distilled water handy. Uh, you could use tap water, that's fine. When this gets empty, I'll just refill it up with tap water and continue to use it just to have a container handy in the garage at all times. So if you really think about this being 16 bottles of this, once we dilute this with water at about a 50-50 percentage or a one-to-one -one ratio, with the Elmer's permanent white glue, we're actually going to get 32 bottles of Mod Podge for the price of three. So that's quite a big savings. I don't know the exact calculations, but let's say it's about 10% of the cost of buying the actual brand product. 
So let's go ahead and get started with making it. I've seen many tutorials online that uh, they all basically say it's a one-to-one -one ratio. And I've tried a one-to-one -one ratio, I've tested it out, I've used it before, and I've found it to be just as good as using the Mod Podge brand. So we're going to stick with that and continue that um, going, at, going forward because it's worked just fine. So again, Elmer's glue all. We're going to do about half of that. It's going to be about four ounces. And as you can see, it's kind of thick. If you're finding the one-to-one -one ratio isn't quite thick enough for you, you can always make yours a little thicker. If you're finding it's too thick, you can always make it a little thinner. You can experiment with it, but I've already tested out a couple variations, and I found that a one-to-one -one ratio works pretty darn good. So we're just going to top that off with some water. You can use a stir stick if you like, but since I have a container, I will just mix it. Give it a good mix, and in the end, you're going to have a pretty much identical product to Mod Podge that you can use to cover your armor foam pieces. Works just about the same, even feels the same. It'll dry to a clear coat just like Mod Podge will. And that's it. So that's how you can make Mod Podge for about 10% of the cost. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, happy creating. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Before you go, you should think about stopping over and seeing me at cccosplay.com. There you can find articles and tips to help you take your cosplay to the next level. Also, if you sign up for the membership email list, I'll send you a few surprises and let you know about special things before anyone else has a chance to hear about them. It'll be our little secret. And remember, stay crafty.